This is gonna be one of the easiest videos I've probably ever made. So if you haven't seen it, Vincent over at HGTV Test a while ago made a video talking about why you shouldn't use BT2020, basically saying it makes everything overly red. So here's BT2020, it's not overly red. You guys can clearly see in real time, it is not overly red. You just have to lower down the saturation. And once you lower down the saturation to something acceptable, you will get good results. You just have to know how to calibrate a TV. And so you're gonna see, again, you know we're in BT 2020. We started the video off like that. This is a picture of Chris Pratt's face, right? And there you see, skin tones look good. Colors are very vibrant and very rich and very pure. Okay, so you can see a very clear picture of a face right here. I'm opening up my ISO. It's gonna make the black levels look gray. Just kind of bear with that, that's just what happens. But you can see what's going on here. Essentially, you're supposed to be seeing this overly red person in BT 2020, which we're in, and that's not going to happen. And I'm gonna tell you why it's not gonna happen, because when you know how to calibrate and adjust a television, you are able to get proper results. And again, the BT 2020 color space can be used on TVs that weren't necessarily designed with, the, or rather content that wasn't designed with BT2020. So here I have the Sony X900E from 2017, and I think going this far back will show you that you don't need the latest and the greatest to even pull this off. This is my way of basically shutting down the ignorance that BT2020 is just gonna make everybody red you can't get proper skin tones, you're destroying your picture quality, all of this nonsense that you hear on HDTV test, and you know, his little choir group of fangirls, that's the kind of rhetoric that they'll put out. Now again, I don't like having to put out other people, but the reason I'm doing this is because I got some pretty nasty commentary from some individuals feeling as though, I guess, I've been shut down or I don't know, some people, you know, like when people think that they, they've done a move, right? It's their ultimate move. They really did something really big in their mind. They act like it. And so, you know, I just love putting those kinds of people in their place with facts in real time and showing them, in fact, you've done nothing big. Nothing has happened. BT 2020 is extremely usable if you know what you're doing. And the fact that a so-called professional, Vincent over at HDTV Test to be specific, didn't think to use the saturation dials and tone it down a bit, just kind of seems a little sus if you're a professional calibrator. Seems more like his attempt, and the only reason he made that video was to try to discredit Quantum TV. I'm showing you now a close up of a person's face. And you can see very clearly, there is no red, there is no color bleeding, there is no, there, there is no destroyed picture here. It is very vibrant, very vivid, very natural, color. You can see the hues in her eyes. You can see the makeup. You can see everything as it's supposed to be. You can see these shades as they exist. Now, again, I have to play around with ISO when things get really dark to show you every little thing, so please forgive a lapse of being able to show you maximum dynamic range, but you're seeing very clearly colors aren't bleeding. And I, and I love this because this is demo content now. Now I'm showing you skin tones on something that has been color graded, color corrected, and post-production and my settings are still holding up with something that has been color graded for the reference standards and reference accuracy. So for people that have been wondering and maybe watching HDTV test and, and thinking that you can't use BT2020, I implore you, be creative and try it yourself. If you don't believe me, every single TV can be turned down and to be made to be a black and white television. Here, I'll lower it down because now we are definitely clipping. I see a lot of zebras here. I'll lower it down to where I see a little bit uh, right about there. That's about the dynamic range that you're supposed to be seeing. And again, as you guys are seeing, I'll maybe brighten it up a little bit. It's not quite that dark. As you guys are seeing, when you have even brown people, black people, 
the skin tones are on point. You aren't having any of the color issues that he's claiming that you're having. You don't see his skin overly red or destroyed or anything like that. You just see a wonderful looking picture. And and, and I get I get really in my feels over this kind of thing because people like Vincent over at HDTV Test make it hard for regular everyday people who maybe don't have the experience to be creative and to not go out and hire snobbish professionals to destroy their picture by washing it out and making it look flat and bland. And the reality is I encourage creativity on this channel and using BT2020 is the only way you're going to get anywhere close to the kind of settings that I am able to create. Now obviously I am a professional first and foremost and I do understand how to adjust to these broadcast standards. I understand how to adjust to these gamma curves and all that stuff. And I don't have to show you fancy equipment. I use an X-Rite i1 Display Pro proudly because it's not about the tool, it's about the person behind the tool. And the more you have to show off your tools and try to fluff up how professional your gear is, the worse you are at your job. And, and, and I understand very clearly, even doing my job as a professional photographer, that when you watch a guy, right, come out to a wedding shoot and he's bragging about his $3,500 camera and he's just expecting the camera to do all of the work, that, that tells you the caliber of his experience. And HGTV Test is the exact same kind of person. He'll buy the most expensive gear and rely on it to do the job instead of learning how images are created. Let me be very clear. I don't just create settings, I make settings. I make settings, I make pictures. I don't take pictures. I, I give you things that look next level because I understand how these things work. Now, for those that are wondering why I'm doing this video, again, I, I just, I can't stand the peanut gallery. If you've ever had that one really annoying person that just won't shut up, won't stop talking, thinks they've done something big or that they can somehow prove a point and then be loud and obnoxiously wrong, well, then you'd have HDTV test. And so by showing you multiple skin tones across multiple movies screenshotted in real time, you are able to see very clearly that there is absolutely nothing. Look at those grapes. Look at the colors in her hair. If it was bleeding, it would be bleeding over right now. And the reality is you're not seeing any of that because again, my settings are the best around and it's not cockiness to say that i've trained i have studied and even now what time is it right now on my end it is literally 2 35 right now in the morning and i am up not only refining my abilities and my skills but I'm, I'm doing everything i can to make sure that when i give content out it looks the best it can look i'm showing you images like this to show you even with something that is really red in nature, you can see that again, it's still usable. And the concept that you can't use BT2020 is wrong. It is a fundamental disservice to everyone watching a video like that. It is misinformation of the highest order because as you see here, you can use BT2020 as I'm doing right here. I'm going to try to go and show you something a little brighter now. We're definitely going to be clipping, lower it down a little bit, and there you go. So I hope by showing off multiple examples and an abundance of proof that you're seeing there is no color bleeding. People look fine. There, I mean, look at his lips. His lips aren't bleeding. His skin isn't overly red. You're not blowing all that stuff out. All of the over dramatics that you're seeing on HDTV test or just that. There are means to try to discredit me because I keep pointing out that in 2016, he was bought and paid for for cheap. He thanked LG for VIP treatment. So to try to take some of the sting out of reality, he now has to resort to trying to discredit things that you cannot discredit. The reality is yes, BT2020 is an oversaturated color space when something is made in Rec. 709. However, because it is a wider color gamut coverage, and now you are forcing it on 709 content, you are now extending out all of those colors beyond their parameters. So the simple solution is to desaturate that color space back down to normal, but now because you've desaturated it, you maintain all of the benefits of the color space that you are targeting. This is common. 
very common knowledge that any real professional does have and does know. So either Vincent is lying to you about being a professional, or again, he's just pretty pissed off that I keep mentioning that, again, he thanked LG for VIP treatment because he did. So that being said, with multiple skin tones, like I was saying, being shown, this shuts down that argument that BT2020 can't be used. Everybody's going to be overly red. They're going to look like Oompa Loompas. Everything's going to be ruined. And uh, yeah, that's basically the entire video. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty, where we, again, just destroy the industry standards with, you know, facts. We just show you in real time and let you see for yourself what it is. So if you have questions, ask them in the comment section down below. And as always, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.